And I cannot wait to wear this for date night. Let's fly you away, just you and me. I need a little break from the city. It's been so long since we've been gone. What is up guys? Welcome back to 86 Ambrosia. It's your girl Jen, that's with one J and two N's and this is my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here and this is your first time ever clicking on a vlog by your girl Jen, welcome and thank you so very much for clicking on that thumbnail that brought you into this whole on my feminine energy slash Walmart haul with the little Dillard's sprinkled in there. So I am really excited because if you are new here, then you may or may not know um, that I am on this whole a lifestyle change. I have a lot of lifestyle updates coming my way as I'm making some transitions to leave one state of mine and actually a physical state and then transition to another state. And the reason why I want to share this type of topic with you, even though this is not something I typically do on my channel, is because away from social media, away from the spotlight, if you want to call it that, um, I am in the background working on my femininity. I'm working to become a more feminine woman. Woman. Now this is something that Bay and I actually discuss a lot. He likes to point out things that he sees, that he feels like, oh wow, I'm benefiting from that. I really enjoyed when you did that. Um, I like when you said that. You made me feel like this when you did this. So like he's really on board for me becoming more feminine. And when I say more feminine, it's not because, you know, I was tomboyish or anything like that. It just was because I'm so used to being so independent that my behavior can sometimes just come across very aggressive. Like even when I'm not trying, I can sometimes just be just very aggressive. And so this is a whole topic for like a whole nother like time and I don't even really want to get into it because you very well may catch me in the vlog after this displaying some anti-feminine ways because it is a journey. It's more of a mindset and a behavior than anything else, but it takes time to fully develop. And so that's what I'm working on, right? I'm working on becoming a more feminine woman and really tapping into my femininity. So with that, and because this is more like a style channel, this is more like a fashion and style budget friendly, visualizing our highest self and showing up as the woman we so desire to be. Because that is what we do on this channel, I decided to share with you how I'm tapping into that feminine energy through my style. So this first dress that I have on here coming out of Walmart, oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. This is this really cute little ribbed sweater dress. Um, it is faux button up so it's not real buttons and I really really love that because I don't have to worry about having like that gaping sensation where the buttons you know want to pull apart and then you can see like underneath and I truly feel like this dress is just an example of what I mean when I say that I want to show my femininity in my style as I'm growing towards becoming a more feminine woman. The contrast of the dress between the orange and then like this magenta color, this color blocking just really adds the right amount of appeal to this dress. And once again, you just would never guess that I got her from Walmart. Walmart has just really been on it when it comes to the styles that they've been putting out for spring, especially with their dresses. And I am just truly a dress girl. For me, it's just easy to put on a dress, to style a dress, and then to have a complete look and really feel really cute when you're walking out of the door. And the added bonus that I love about this dress is this is one of those pieces that can be a day to night kind of piece. It's long enough and not too fitted. I got her in a size large, so it's long enough and not too fitted where I can wear her to work. I can put her on with a flat or keep on my nice little pump and I can be good to go. But I can also transition this look and wear her after 
the work hours and still feel like I'm a vibe and that I'm giving to the mood, that I'm contributing to the mood with this little dress. So one thing, sis, that I'm finding that I am truly enjoying about this stage of life that I'm in now, newness of self. I really like to think that every day that I get up is a new day to be my very best self. And regardless of what happened yesterday, because I can't change what happened yesterday, I can take on the day and make it a point or make it a priority for myself to show up and be present in my life. And that's present in my thoughts, that's present in my actions, that's present in the way that I treat other people. And then also in ways in which I make sure that I'm protecting my peace, I'm protecting the bubble, the invisible bubble that is around me. So I love this white dress because I've been telling you for quite some time that I do feel this newness of self. I do feel this sense of, revival within myself as I'm making changes and as I'm challenging myself to go to the next level in life. And that the color white has just been one of my favorite colors of the season because it's so crisp, it's so clean, and it just looks gorgeous to me on everybody, but I just love it up against my caramel colored skin. So this dress I have on here is by the brand Time and True, of course, coming out of Walmart. I love that this dress has these pockets on it. I love that it's fitted up top, but then it flares out as you move towards the bottom of the dress. She definitely adds that feminine touch that I was talking about at the start of this try on. So this dress is just a little testament to sometimes the way things look online is not actually the way they look when you put them on and you style them up the way you want them to look. Ah, uh, this dress is by BCBG. Um, you can find it in your local Walmart stores because of course it's where I pick mine up from. Um, and it comes in this floral print, but it also comes in this really pretty uh, fuchsia pink number. I don't know if it comes in any other colors, but those were the two colors that I saw in my local Walmart. And sis, oh gosh, I am so glad that I picked her up because she does everything that I would desire a little floral, a little satin slip dress to do. She's just so freaking cute. I so feel like this would be like the perfect little date night little dress. I still feel so classy and classic in this dress. Now sis, don't get it twisted, baby. I got some that's, ooh, ooh. I can't wear it to your mama house. I can't wear it to church. You get what I'm saying? They're not like thottish, but they're just like only appropriate for certain occasions, for certain events, only like evening or nighttime type dresses. But this one here can just easily transition from day to night. And again, I feel so classy and classic in this dress. So let's just get into it with this lime dress, this very lemon lime little dress here here that I have on. So if you've been rocking out with me for some time, this dress is not new to my collection. I actually have had her for about a month. She also came out of Walmart. She's by the brand Scoop. And I just love this very vibrant, very yellowish green color. Like the color is just so pretty when you're out in the sunlight and the sun is shining on you. But I pulled her out because I haven't worn her yet. And I figured, you know what, as I'm talking about styling myself in a more feminine way or paying attention to my feminine vibes and the energies that I'm giving off, I just love that this is an example of a dress where you get this really nice little thigh slit here but it's still very classy, it's still very classic, and it's still appropriately sexy, and it's definitely feminine. Now how I styled this satin dress, I did put it on with this really cute little chain belt that I did get from Target. And the reason why I grabbed this chain belt is because I did want something that would cinch that waistline in and give you this dramatic movement 
from the waist of the dress or the waistline down to where my thigh is. But I have on these really cute little lime sandals that I got from the SW and there is actually a chain across the toe that truly complements the way that I've used the chain belt in this look. And this dress is just very much giving all the things that I want a very vibrant, sexy, sophisticated, classy little slip dress to give. I can walk into a room whether it's crowded or not and this color is just going to bounce off the walls in terms of it's going to stand apart from any other color that is in that space. I do. I love this dress. I love the way that it moves with me. I love that when I walk you get that little bit of leg. You guys know that I like to say I like to set that thigh out. Now truthfully speaking I am a lover of all things please say I love this medium so much because it is so flattering on the body or at least in my opinion the very first piece of please say that I picked up was actually from boohoo and I want to go ahead before I go any farther and say that this little two-piece set here they come separately is not from Walmart this is from Dillard's, but I'm gonna make a point on how Please Say is just very popular in terms of being a great medium to work with. I picked her up because I really wanna wear her for date night. You can even see if I turn around that I still have the tags on her because I just got this little dress. I just saw this little number when I was in Dillard's looking for some jewelry and I was like, oh my gosh, let me try it on because I love Please Say. And the fact that you get like this bevel top here and then you get this crop, so you get this little piece of skin and then you have on this long midi skirt. This is what I am talking about. This is a very, very cute look, very classy, a little bit of sex appeal there, very feminine and it's definitely giving the girls what I'm trying to give the girls and I cannot wait to wear this for date night because I just think like I say she's striking she's sexy I can wear her to a very classy restaurant even though I'm showing just a little bit of skin just a little bit of midriff because it's very appropriately and tastefully done and once again if you've been rocking out with me I have another Please say dress here in the color pink. It's a deeper, richer pink than the one that I have on here. But this is by the brand Scoop and it came out of Walmart. Guys, I have gotten so many compliments on this dress because I wear her to work and she is just so cute on. So this piece that I have on here, this dress that I got from Walmart, it just really helps me to create that wave of energy, that wave of feminine energy that I just so desire when I get up and I get dressed and I head out and I feel so confident and just so beautiful in the clothes that I chose to put on my body. So with that guys, that actually brings me to the end of this try on. I don't want to call it a try on haul because I didn't get like a lot of pieces, um, but it is because I'm going to link some additional pieces down in the description box so that if you are looking to be on your feminine energy as far as your style is concerned, you know, you like dresses, that's really the mood, that's really the vibe that you feel, um, you can have some other options down in the description box. And like I said earlier guys, I have an entire Walmart storefront. I'm still working to set her up, but she is live. So like all of the pieces that I've been sharing, even if you haven't caught my previous vlogs, but you like Walmart clothing, you can definitely follow that storefront and then check out all of the pieces that I've put in different collections on my Walmart storefront. Um, because again, Walmart has some really amazing pieces, especially, especially for spring 2023. But until I catch you in my next vlog video, I will see you in my next vlog or video. Bye guys.